Well, welcome to a bitterly cold and ridiculously windy reef and fisheries where we've come today to try and get the answer to one question. One that I always ask myself and I know so many of you do and that is when it's cold, when it's in the winter, does scaling down really make a difference? So we're talking light lines, small hooks, fishing against heavy lines and big hooks. That is the concept. So no cheating, pause the video now, drop us a comment and let us know what you think is gonna win. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and a little bell next to it and never miss another video that we upload. But the concept, as I said, couldn't be more simple. I'm gonna fish two hours on one heavy rig and then one light rig. And we're gonna do a weigh-in in between, a weigh-in at the end and generally find out are we looking too much into it and it doesn't make a difference or do we need to look even further into it and it really is making a difference so i'll go through the rigs and that in a little while i want to get fishing so it's not too much talking to you in one piece but i am generally going to be nice and fair so there's no trick coin here there is a heads and there is a tails i'm going to go heads we're going to start on a heavy rig tails we'll start on the light rig and there we go it's tails so we are starting how I would probably fish this time of year. Like I said, I'm gonna go into sort of lines and hooks and all of that in a moment, but I'm gonna start the stopwatch. I've got a two hours window now to see how many fish we can catch and then we'll weigh them in before we compare it to big hooks and heavy lines. Now, I'll make an assumption while I'm baiting up. So. All I'm doing is gonna fish maggot and pellet today, nice and simple, and there's loads of fish in here. So it's a good place to see if it generally does make a difference. But my assumption is, yes, obviously it's gonna make a difference. I'm sure we've seen it all before. Sometimes you go lighter and you get more bites. So if it doesn't, I'm gonna look really stupid, but it may tell us that we are looking too much into it. So let's get out there now. And I'm gonna fish. 13 meters, both rigs are exactly the same. I'm gonna cup some pellet in, drop the rig over the top, and we'll see how long it takes us to catch on this nice, neat rig. There we go, fish number one out of time because we are fishing fairly light I mean not not nothing to worry about I've not gone ridiculously light but just take the time and it took a little while a touch longer than I expected but I guess perhaps you could say the only disadvantage the light rig had of going first is I probably got to build the swim up and, and get some fish there but I did mention at the start of this video that this lake is full of fish you know and it, it generally is not particularly the biggest fish but that's good for two reasons. One, because it gets us lots of bites, and two, because you tend to find little fish like this in F1s can be the ones that are really rig shy and really tricky. So it will hopefully tell us if it's making a difference. That was not coming off, so let's hold it up if it's gonna behave itself. There you go, fish number one on the light rig. So yeah, it took a little bit longer than expected, but as I mentioned, perhaps that is just building up a bit of a swim so I'm gonna get that one popped back in the net now and then we will get on with seeing if we can catch another one well there's the second bite a little bit quicker than the first one but I think we are going to have to build a swim up and I guess we've got to forget that it's still pretty cold and actually we're just talking to Chris it's freezing here this wind is playing absolute havoc with the rig if I'm honest so if it's not easy to present and it's going to be a little bit more challenging than perhaps I first thought but there we go leaf attached and another little common this time so there we go, one mirror, one common. And like I said, these are the sort of size fish you can expect. So 
what I'll do is I'll get this one slipped in the net and then we'll have a closer look at the rig and the hooks and exactly the line strength, stuff like that, about what this first half of the video is going to be involving. Right, before we get really into it and see if we can start putting a nice run of fish together, let's have a look at the first rig. And I would say this is the rig that, well, it is the rig that I use for winter fishing when I'm trying to get bites and just keep fish coming. So I've got loads of confidence in it. I'm pretty sure we're going to catch some fish on it, but is it going to be better than fishing perhaps what I would in the summer or exaggerated even worse? So let's look at the first one. And we start off with a line I all use from all of my rigs is Power Micron in 012. Now, so it's 012 main line and I've got 010 as a hook link and hook wise MXC1 size 20. So as you can imagine, ideal for what we're doing, a few maggots, pellets, stuff like that. It's gonna be absolutely perfect. And it's really light, really balanced. There's no big fish in here, so I've not got to worry about fishing an 010 hook link that's gonna snap me up or anything like that. So short hook link, like I said, and then the shot and pattern is just spaced out number nines throughout the sort of bottom third of my rig. That's my preferred style. You get a nice slow drop at the end there. And it's just how I pretty much fish all of my winter fishing. Let's have a little look at float. It's not really about the floats, but it's an F1 maggot. And then we've just got that to a size or single eight elastic. So it's not really about the float, the elastics. It's all about the rig lines and the hooks. Are they gonna make a difference when it comes to fishing this time of year or any time of year for fit example. So there we go, single maggot. And it's good to have a little small hook so I can put a single maggot. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do later when I've got a bigger hook on. And then in there, like I said, a few pellets go into the pot. So what I'm gonna do now is ship out there and I'm gonna perhaps stop talking and see if I can really get my head down and fish for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, try and get a run of fish together and then we'll report back to how it's going. So there we go, just capping in a few pellets, lowering the rig over the top of it, and hopefully it's not gonna be too long before we've got another one. about halfway through our little two hour first stint and I must say it is really winter fishing. I don't know if the wind's picking up on the camera but it's hideous and yeah I just can't wait for April or May and get a bit of spring and summer where you can be a bit more aggressive with the feeding and the rigs and oh yeah I must admit that's a uh, a real cold one today probably doesn't do it justice on camera but there you go little f1 and they are you know they are known for being really finicky fish if i, if I had to dot this float right down and fish really neat little bits of bait and if it's that hard on this rig i'm not too sure how much uh, easier it's going to be on the next rig but there we go there's another fish i'm going to get this one in the net i'm going to put my hood up it's not the best for talking to you but it's absolutely baltically cold and uh, we've got another half an hour so sorry another hour to go and then we'll do a little weigh in This little F1 is going to bring the conclusion of what I would say is how I would normally fish and on the lighter rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one in the net. I'm going to go and get some scales, get these lot weighed up, and then we've got something to compare it against 
when we start getting on the heavier setup. Did you got anything to weigh the fish in? Uh, <laughs> I did. I don't suppose by any chance this um that thing floating there, is it? Uh, yeah, it could be it. <laughs> Um, I know we um well at least people know it's windy today. <laughs> that, I was then gonna put some fish in it and it just blew away. That that is shot over there in about the space of like three seconds. And now it's literally stuck on the area <laughs> in the middle of the lake. So Might be going in the boat. I'm gonna have to go in the boat. Well that is not something you usually see on match fishing videos, is it? <laughs> I don't know if you'd uh see that I'm winning ways but at least he's got the bag back nothing is ever easy is it the only good thing that come out of that is I'm now not as cold as I was that little boat trip has warmed me up nicely but that bag is zeroed let's get the fish and get that first half way right, that was harder than expected but 20 pounds and eight ounces so that's the targets to beat let's get on to the second half right there we go 20 pounds and eight ounces in a couple of hours probably a little bit less than i would expect it but it is baltically cold not the great fishing conditions so i'd be happy with that in a match you're looking for 50 pound in five hours perhaps so it would get you there or thereabouts i guess but on to the second method now like i said this is now heavier lines bigger hooks and it, i have exaggerated it so i wouldn't necessarily fish this heavy ever really but i've got the same line but in 023 so it's a real big strong carp line i'd use it down the edge and stuff like that and then as a hook I've gone for an extra strong MXC2 in size 12. So it's really beefed up. Like I said, this is like almost real big heavyweight carp fishing you'd perhaps do down the edge. But it's going to be a real good indication as if it is going to make a difference. Now, having seen those bites, how hard it was to sort of get fish going, I'm quite worried how this is going to go. But I might be wrong. It might be really good and it might not make any difference. So this is what the experiment's all about. Apart from that, I mean, the rig's pretty simple. So obviously the strong lines, 023. I've gone for a bulk and two drop of the shot and pattern because that's how I would do it if I was being positive. And I got a slightly bigger float on there, but the same elastic. So again, it's not really about the rig. It's all about if it's gonna make a difference having these big hooks and thick lines. Now, the next thing I've got to work out is what, what do I do with the bait? Because this hook is massive for what I need compared to what I was just using I'm probably going to have to go three maggots like that just to try and mask some of the hook in some shape or form and then exactly the same as I was I'm going to fill up a little pot and I'm going to fish the same lines the same same area I'm not going to do anything different in that aspect so it's as fair as I can get I guess apart from changing the rigs, the line and the hooks not a lot else has changed so onto the spot tap in a few pellets and then we will see if this does make a difference or not Well, I have had a bite, to be honest with you. I was getting a little bit worried if anything was gonna happen at all. It's taken, what are we on the clock? 25 minutes to get a bite. And I mean, it just feels wrong. It goes against everything that you've taught as a youngster and I was taught about, you know, if you're struggling for bites and it's getting harder, scale it down, fish neater, fish tidier and it makes a difference and you know by the you know how this looks like at the start that's going to be completely spot on but the fact that we've had a bite and we're playing one 
you know, it, it doesn't mean that you can't catch because this fish now is going to prove you clearly will still get bites. But, you know, it might have just been a, a lull in the action. So it might be that a few fish are there now. We'll have to see in the next little bit. But there we go. Not a big fish, similar size, size to what we were catching. But, like I said, that's on big, heavy gear that you really wouldn't expect to catch anything on pretty much this time of year. So we'll get our sit in the net and hopefully the next one doesn't make us wait quite as long. There is another fish, and to be honest with you, I mean, it's definitely slower. There's no denying that. But after I got the first bite, so like the initial, are we going to catch because it's just looks and feels so wrong. Once that was like out of my head, we've had a few, we've had the odd bite here and there. Like I said, it is definitely slower, so there's no denying that. But there you go, look, a little F1. Bearing in mind that they're renowned for being really shy and finicky feeders, light lines, small hooks. He's there with a size 12 in his mouth on size 023 mainline, which if you're not used to 023 or what that means, that's nine and a half pounds. And 012 we fished earlier is three and a half pounds. So you can see the difference there. We are, like I said, certainly the extremes each end of it. But we are still catching fish on this method. We're well into now the second hour. So I'm gonna get this one slipped back. I'm gonna fish hard for the remaining little bit and then we'll see what the difference was, what the scales say. Let's have a look at this half then. Definitely less, but 12 pound, six ounces. So let's get those back and I'll do a little valuation of what I think. So there we go, all packed away. And to be honest, I'm quite glad about that one. That was a real cold one, but hopefully we've given you the answers to the questions. I quite often thought about it, I've seen others asking about it as well. And in evaluation to it all, so if I had 20 pound eight ounces fishing neatly, how I would fishing for a bite really light. And we've had, I think it was 12 pound two, something like that, I can't remember the exact weight, but it's about eight pound and a couple of ounces different. So definitely was a difference. I definitely got more bites and more fish. And if it was in a match situation, I would have been in a better position than if we fished heavy. But for me personally, the gap was smaller than I expected. So going forward, I think what I'll do in my fishing, obviously that was the extreme, that was 023 mainline, that heavy stuff. I mean, that's the heaviest stuff I've got in my box. I probably use it once a year fishing next to big snags for massive fish. So that was really extreme. But going forward, I probably would say that I'll fish as light as I can but knowing that I can get fish in. So luckily in here today, there's no big fish. So you could fish 012, 010, and you've not got to worry about it. But say I was in Maine or along the other two lakes in the complex where there is bigger fish, I probably wouldn't ever drop down stupidly light to try and get a bite. I'm sure we've all been in a situation where you've gone so light to get a bite because it's really hard. And then you don't, you end up getting that bite and you lose it because you've gone too light. So. Yes, I think it does make a difference, but perhaps not as much as I thought it was. 
So I may fish that little bit heavier, somewhere in the middle, and you've got happy medium between bites and landing those fish. So I hope that makes sense. Take out of the evaluation what you will. Make your own evaluation. Let us know what you think in the comments. And hopefully it gives an idea for you going forward to what to put into your own fishing. But that's it from us today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again on the next one where hopefully we're a little bit warmer. <laughs>